Yeah. This, this is what vintage? What 1938. year? 1938. Wow. Uh, the story behind this, I, I keep three drum sets down at California Plaza. Uh, it's one of my older Ludwig sets over there, and I've got the little set, the Bebop set, which the Bad Plus just used, a wonderful drummer, Dave yeah, King. Yeah, fantastic. And, um, and then I keep the snare drum here. In the early 1970s, I was club dating with a guy in New Jersey. I've forgotten his name. And he, he flew airplanes. I was flying. I, I have a commercial pilot's license, and I seriously considered at one time becoming a commercial pilot and did some charter flying. But we would go out and fly planes at his little, his little farm in New Jersey. And I went into the barn one day, and here's this drum sitting there. And I said, wow, what's this, uh, this old snare drum here? And he said, oh, oh, I used to be the band leader on WNEW in New York. And in 1938, we had Buddy Rich on in the afternoon. He came on and did talked and played. And as he was walking out the door, he had the snare drum tucked under his arm. And I said, hey, Buddy, that's really a nice snare drum. And Buddy goes, yeah, you like it? It's yours, man. <laughs> Hands it, gave to it to him. You? Gave it to him. And I remember Bill Ludwig Sr. telling me the reason that they stopped endorse, having Buddy as an endorser because he gave away so much equipment. Yeah. So this drum sat on a, on a, uh, a bench in a, in a barn in New Jersey for many years, and this band leader gave it to me. Yeah. And I didn't use it for a while, and then I replaced the top hoop with a, with a modern hoop so you don't tear up your sticks. Yeah. And I put a, a conventional snare strainer on it, and I started carrying it with uh, Mel Torme. I was uh -huh. with Mel Torme for 18 years. And, and a lot of people don't know, Mel started out as a drummer. Yeah. Sure. And um, with one. one of the Marx brothers, uh, Harpo, or one example of Marx or somebody's band. Wow. And uh, he owned a set of, buddy, of uh, Gene Krupa's Slingerlands. Ah. But I brought this along, and I called it Job Security, because uh -huh. he loved this drum. <laughs> and now we've got it at the plaza, and of course I tell the story, and everybody just goes, oh my God, I'm playing yeah, on, a, yeah. on a drum that belonged to Buddy Rich. Yeah. And the thing is, it's a, it's a magical drum. No matter if you loosen it, tighten it, whatever it is, it just always sounds great. You it notice the head's all great. torn up? I, I'm one who, I don't play, change heads until I have to. The scratches are because Dave King used children's toys yeah. and scraped them on the Yeah, the drums. he gets some wonderful sounds. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so it's always fun when they, people come through, even if they're from South America, Africa. Yeah. I mentioned that this was Buddy Rich's snare drum. Of course, they just, you know, they can't believe it. <laughs> 